Why should music be taught in public schools is a very controversial topic that administrators, communities, and legislature juggle with today. The question exactly is how important education is in schools. Music is becoming less and less valued in a time it should be focused on more than ever. War, homelessness, poverty, and hatred, mental instability, and distrust are diseases that plague the world, eat at humans, and devour souls. It is time for fundamental changes to be set in action. It will not start with the politicians, rulers, or the powerful ones of the world. It has to start with the children. Greg Watson, director of California Arts Council, said, We sell ourselves globally, appropriately, as the most creative place in the world, and yet we have this disconnect over what we're doing with our children and the workforce of the 21st century. Most children have their first experience with music at schools. This is why it is crucial that music education is high quality and available to as many as possible. It must not become the preserve of those who, whose families can afford to pay the music tuition. While music touches the lives of all young people, the disadvantaged can benefit most, said Darren Henley from the uh, importance of music education. Music education is extremely expensive in private lessons outside of public schools. Those who are not affluent enough are not included in the realm of music education. It is not widely accessible and there is not equal opportunity. However, simply the chance to be introduced could completely alter a child's life. There is truly no limit to how impactful music can be in an individual's life. Through music specifically, music education, success can be obtained in various ways. Not only does it release pain, stress, negativity, Michael Green, Recording Academy President and CEO of the 42nd Annual Grammy Award said, Music is a magical gift we must nourish and cultivate in our children, especially now as scientific evidence proves that an education in the arts makes better math and science students, enhances spatial intelligence in newborns, and let's not forget that the arts are a compelling solution to teen violence. Certainly not the cause of it. Music effectiveness extends multiple categories, including mental health disorders, psychiatric disorders, mood disorders, and neurological disorders. This was stated in the American Arts Therapy Association. Michael Phelps, a biophysicist at UCLA, says, if we teach our children early enough, it will affect the organization or wiring of their brains. He found this at the Riggs Institute. Therefore, because of the rewiring of one's brain, it is also proven that children who have quality music education have higher IQs and substantially higher test scores. Neurologist Harold Chugani discovered that by the time a child is four, their brains are twice as active as an adult's. This soaking up of information continues until they're 10 and starts to plateau around age 16. In the early years of development, the brain is analogous to a sponge, soaking up every piece of information. Therefore, the perfect time to teach kids new skills and content is when they are young. The particular reason for this circumstance is the flood of information is almost drowning to small children. It is important to vary the types of things being taught to them. If they pick up an instrument when they are young and don't play again until they're adults, they will still be more apt to playing better than an, another adult who is probably just starting out. Christopher Johnson, a professor of music education and music therapy at the University of Kansas, conducted a study in 2007 where he founded that children who had quality music education in their elementary school years scored around 20% higher in both math and reading compared to, say, their peers who didn't have uh, little to none education in music. There have been many studies done by researchers curious about the actual differences between children who study music and children who don't. It would seem that administrators are not interested in the possible effects of music studies and therefore are unwilling to devote time or resources to examine these issues. Tom Thorne, Arizona State Superintendent of Public Instruction said, if they're worried about their test scores and want a way to get them higher, they need to give kids more arts, not less. There are some who still believe in music and fight to keep it. The sacrifice of music and other forms of art could be detrimental. If the focus was placed on these forms of education, test scores would surely increase. It is a widely acknowledgeable fact. 
Chris Miller, a music teacher, once said, the arts have been known to fall down the priority list amid pressure on schools to improve test scores. Backers of music education have responded to the pressure by pointing to the academic benefits of learning music, like better grades and improving attendance. If you think schools are required to have arts education programs, think again. Although, according to Americans for the Arts, the Federal Elementary and Secondary Education Act includes the arts as a core academic subject, which are programs such as painting, orchestra, band, music, and other similar classes are being pushed aside in favor of reading, writing. Why, after so much research, has music been shoved to the side? Music should no longer be considered just an extracurricular, but a serious subject that enriches every aspect of a child's education. Playing music has been proven to increase the volume and activity in the corpus callosum, which is the bridge between each side allowing messages to transmit quicker from the left to the right, and also the right to the left, resulting in cognitive function being significantly higher. Due to this connection being stronger, there are more routes that signals and messages can travel. This may lead to musicians being more equipped and adept to solving problems in more creative and efficient manners. Usually, by eight years old, the brain does a major neuron dump, writing any neurons deeming unnecessary, which is the reason why it is much easier to teach language and music to younger children. If you learn music as a child, your brain becomes designed for music. University of Central Florida researchers discusses it is clearly even more pertinent to introduce music education to elementary age children. It could quite literally save neurons from being discarded. This premise of this research was further explored by research um, done by Kiminobu. He conducted research on canaries, learning that they stopped singing in the autumn months when they lost neurons. They began singing again in the spring months after regaining neurons in the winter months. Kimonobu concludes that music actually increases neurons to be regenerated in the brain. The arguments against music education are usually the same, and usually the opinions of those who are trying to save a budget. The common held anti-music education opinion is that music simply distracts children from their studies. Not only is this the opinion about academics, but going beyond that, they believe that music is not a career. If music is not a career, then how are there musicians? Besides, the easily dismissible argument is that music has been proven to aid the brain in numerous areas of study. It is not necessary to study only what can become a career, but study that which can provide mental sharpness. To sum up everything that has been stated so far, General Ford, former president of the United States of America, once said, Music education opens doors that help children pass from school into the world around them, a world of work, culture, intellectual activity, and human involvement. The future of our nation depends on providing our children with a complete education that includes music. Well, all that has been revealed, it is a simple conclusion that music could be answered to many people's problems and many ills. Children are the future as we know, and we should provide them with the tools necessary to be successful. Ideally, music education will once again become a priority, but this can only be done through careful contemplation and with the help of those who are in the position to make this transition back in to what is really important.